welcome to conditional statements these conditional statements are part of control statements in a procedural language the execution will start from the beginning and it goes till end without changing the flow of the execution in between if at all we want to change the flow then we have to use control statements there are two types of control statement one is conditional statement and second one is looping structure looping structure we are going to learn in the second chapter now we are going to learn conditional statements in conditional statement in plsql we have only one thing called if condition let me start with a simple program through the program let me explain what is if condition is i am starting with uh, declare then creating a variable called x number of four begin within the statement i am going to assign a value within the program x is equal to 110 using if condition i am going to check if x is less than 100 then the structure starts like if then the condition then within the condition you can use a comparison operator like equal to or we can use less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to not equal to sort of things if x is less than 100 then what i want to do if this particular condition is true then i am going to display dbms underscore output dot put underscore line good and i am going to say end if here i want to display one more thing called dbms underscore output dot put line outside if this particular program because the value is 110 when we check this condition in the if statement it will not return a true value it will return false value because x value is more than 100 once it is false this particular statement will not go inside the if, if condition block and execute the dbm statement it will directly come out and print that we are in outside of if statement and i end the program when i change the value of this particular program from 110 to 10 when x is equal to 10 now this particular conditional in the if statement if x is less than 100 will return a true value so once this condition returns true value it will print good then again it will come out of the if statement and print outside if also so this is a very simple if statement this if statement will execute when the condition is true a set of block otherwise it will come out of the if statement and execute a common programming block there is one more option available with if condition whenever we are writing if we can go for one more section called else else means if the condition returns true the first statement will be executed if the re- the condition return false then the control comes to the else section and what all the statements block of statements we are having in else that will be executed so if the condition is true it will print good then it will print outside if if the condition is false whatever i am going to type within else that will be printed dbms underscore output dot put underscore line wrong if the value is 10 it will print good and outside if if the value is 110 it will print a wrong and outside if so this is a simple if statement we can use within a pls scale block here we are checking only one condition there are some cases where we supposed to test more than one condition at a time for example 
if at all a particular student score a mark above 90 then i want to print a distinction if the mark is between 70 to 80 then i want to say above average if it is 50 to 60 i want to say just pass if it is below 50 the student result is fail so here i have to test a lot of conditions and i have to print it for each and every test or every checking of condition i supposed to use if statement but once the conditions are related with each other then i can go for a multiple if statement now we are going to see a example for multiple if statement so x is a mark if the mark is more than 100 i am going to display wrong input else if x is above 80 then i want to print a grade else if x value is above 60 then i want to print pass else i want to print fail this is called multiple if first i am checking whether the x value is above 100 if it if the x value is above 100 it will print wrong input if the value is not above 100 then i am going to check that whether the value is above 80 or not if it is above 80 it means the value is above 80 but less than 100 then i am going to print a grade if the value is not above 80 then i am going to check whether the value is between 60 to 80 or not if it is 60 to 80 i am going to print pass if not i am going to check i am going to say that the value is definitely less than 60 and the result is fail this is called multiple if here i can go for nested if also nested if is the one where i am going to use a if statement with a condition x is above 100 then like that i can start and here i can go for printing the value like this for example here if the x value is above 100 i am going to say wrong input else i am going to say another if condition if the x value is above 80 then here again i can go for another print statement called a grade but the only thing is for each and every if i supposed to use different end if statement end if i am using for the for the second section x is greater than 180 and here i am going to use another end if statement this is for x is greater than 100 but in case of multiple if if at all i am using els if then i can use only one end if i no need to use multiple end if so these are all the three types of if statements are there in our control structure or conditional statement and next one we are going to learn about looping structure thank you